Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are still in July. And yeah, we've got some grain here. We've got the barley. There we go. Well, one trader. And all of the oats we've got. And that is because I'm going to take this over to the green mill we recently purchased in the last episode. Cut that car up. But yeah, so taking it to the green mill. We already got the trans trader up there with a full load of wheat. And yeah, we'll be put in, get some flour, and hopefully soon we'll make some delicious bread. Some fresh, crispy British bread. So yeah, the combine's also here ready to start doing the rye. And I think when we do the rye, yeah, I think we'll have a trader here anyways. Because, uh, yeah, I think getting that in with the spout, it's going to be difficult, like, maneuvering around. So, yeah, I think we'll just do it ourselves, so... Anyways, let's go and put this in. So, bang on five o'clock. There we go. Wheat and barry's going in. See now the, the trans that empties a fair I do mean extremely quickly. Perhaps if I could maybe pawn like a little loop cycle if it knows its way around with the worker and that they could pick up the wheat and just take over to uh what's it? I'll take over here but silo no. Oh well, uh, it was worth it, so. If I just get a go back to the farm, I just want you to go somewhere there. Position blocked, fine. Right, how about here? There we go. Just get out on this way. So if we have a look here, go back up to the top, and it should be, yep, there we go, we are starting to produce the flour, and yep, we're going to be getting, like, from the wheat alone, that is, what, 120,000 years a month and change, so yeah, not too bad, that's a few bumps there alone, that will last about just over two months, the barley, so once we get the rest of the barley over. But yeah, we've also got the barley to do in August, and yeah, the oats, that's going to be about a month, so not many oats, but I mean, they, they're really help, so yeah. Let's get the rest of this grain over, and then we'll do from there. to our productions have a look so yeah all the wheat's in barley's in and oops so the wheat 
I'll say that should be just enough for about 11 months or so, so yeah, not too bad there. Obviously, Barley, you know, that's as long, and as I said, the oats will last about just over a month, give or take, maybe a month in a week. So yeah, I think, what else could we do? Ah, wait a bit. Yeah, we'll sell some slurry. Because we do need a little bit of cash and flex. Just to find the combine in that. Well, find the header for the combine. Even though it's going to have mu not much more usage, but still. So, worker can go back to the farm. And actually, how is our animals doing at the moment? Doing not too bad. Cows, yeah, not too bad. Ooh, the rabbits need some food. Horses, I really should be exercising them because they're going down in value. Their fitness is going down and they're getting a bit dirty as well. So, even though I am planning on selling the horses once the food is run out, which is still really look after them still, but. Yeah, currently our Angus is only 27% towards puberty, so still a ways to go before we sell them. But I think you get almost like three grand, I think it is. Maybe even more, but yeah, rabbits need some food, so we'll we'll grab a bell, take it over. And apart from that, it's just straw work, so yeah. In between episodes, we did do the finishing off the straw work on these fields. And then all we got left to do is the straw, straw work on the other fields. For when we harvest them, like the barley fields and that. So that's why it's here ready to do the barley. And yep, yeah, should get another two bells out of it. I'll say two bells, these are like 80,000 litre bells here. And Sell some of these bells now. Might as well. Because we are planning on selling them. Or is it worth waiting for one more month for a stroll? Or, but do you think the price is going down in August? Yeah, so. Not much more, but. Either Garden Center or Value View. So Value View is just over there, so. I think we'll grab them instead. Over there. I think we got like eight bells, maybe seven or eight bells. So, my estimate of about 400,000 litres of straw is a bit down, but about 300 or 400, I think. I'll grab the other straw bells from uh, where is it to? Uh, from the shed. Yeah, I'll tell those as well. And straw we get from these two barley fields and rye. We'll bell them. We'll keep them. Purely for animal bedding. Even though I think yeah, it's a bit excessive, but dang it. Is it for the hedgerow? Okay, not screw it. Get hooked up. So yeah, I think we'll do that, get your spells and sell them. Yeah, it ain't gonna be too much money, but then again, we've also got 2 million litres of straw to sell as well. So now I'll get 200 grand, or wait to winter, I get another 50 grand on top of that. There's options there, but unless there's anything like in the used market or anything we need to buy, I don't mind waiting on those, just purely because of the time and effort involving. Oh uh, yeah, just to get them obviously filled up and then sold, it's going to require several trips. So yeah, we'll grab these bells, get them sold, and then I'll see folks at the store.
And there we go. That was very hectic to deal with. And I should have used a bloody bigger trader. But anyways, we've got 1.06 million litres. Plus another 81,000 litres for that bell. On the top, yeah, somewhere there. On that top left. I couldn't strap down. So yeah, 250 was from, of course, what we had in storage. And the other 800 or so thousand was from the field, so not too bad. And what? Screw it, just put it away. Mine's going to go up anyways. There we go. And look at that money shooting up. How much was that? 180 grand, so yeah. Not too bad, decent profit in that. Can't complain on that. And that's for sure. And yeah, I think we're losing the light now, so I think what we'll do, we'll rest. And then we'll start working on the, the straw. Oh no, sorry. The harvest barley in that. Also, we can start having a look at the factory as well, see if we get any. Oh, not any green milk, any flour coming in. And there we go, we are in August now, let's put the times back up. So, yeah, we've got some apple juice, and once again, I'm just going to make a quick buck off that. So, let's go and have a look at some cell points. And apparently, there have been some new cell points added in. So, we go down here to look at apple juice. There we go, so... Actually, it's the sell everything container is a good price, so we'll send that over there. So, sell everything container is up here, so just go place it on the road and then we'll just take it in once we're done there. It's probably not reachable. Also, it might go down a little bit. That will be made clear in a future episode, a little bit explained. Over the years, I've laid the groundwork for some future stuff we're going to be doing, including some productions I want to go for. That should make sense. Yeah, I was going wrong way there. Fair enough. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I can divulge now. Sure, why not? So if we go over here, or just somewhere over here, there we go. If you remember, we did have a pig farm over here that we removed. Oh, where's the pig's enclosure or where it was? Over here? No, no, I think it was over here. But yeah, so we've done some terrain work now and just edited the surface. So, let's just go into drawing mode. So, where's the pig enclosure? There's one of these over here. Ah. Yeah, it's over here, so literally next to, I think that's the horses. Actually, can we remove that? Sure, let's buy that. Well, you can. Yeah, I know that was a bit of an expense, but actually it also gives us another area to use. Don't think you can remove the fencing, which is a shame because this would have been a good production area. And it still can be because I've got some idea for some productions and we can place them down now if you want to. So, well, I'm not going to do it quite yet because I need to get the horse and all that done first. So, not the platinum stuff. But yeah, I've had some mods now. Of variety, including dairy and that. So, because I want to sort of utilize the milk and that. And get butter and that, butter, cheese. But I think also the cookie factory has an option, yeah, to make sugar. So, yeah, of course, eggs and a few other things. But yeah, we can get all sorts of different cookies from it. So, if you look at prices again, so we get chocolate chip chocolate chocolate chip, so I'm not sure what the difference is there. Oatmeal, I guess it requires oats. I'm going to do oatmeal raisin because I'm 
Also involves raisins, strawberry cheesecake flavors, and then obviously you get the variety, which I'm assuming is all five together. Which yeah, sixty-seven grand for a thousand liters. And actually, is that sensation a bit above? It seems to be a bit above price compared to your normal stuff, so that's a good thing to know. But even if you don't do that, even if you just get something that produces, you know, like your milk and butter and that, well, butter and cheese. Yeah, cookie cell station, six grand compared to 5,100, five grand. So yeah, that is a possible option for us. Obviously we need a lot of milk, have we sold a bunch of milk? What last episode or so? We also other productions, and all of it is because of diversifying our income. Simply the fact that we need different bits of income coming in. Get a cheap dairy there for sixty-two grand, or cheap-ish. Then obviously you've got your farm productions and that by Matano. Yeah, even short sugar, something like this. Would do ten grand. Amongst other things it can do, we can get sugar from that from sugar beets. And also you can get a variety, you can get cakes and that. Yeah, it's a bit of like an all-in-one production kind of thing. But a lot of it is for things like tomato salad and that. So yeah, tomato salad, tomato sauce. Which I'll be more looking at for the fruits production. Cereals and that. But yeah, so yeah, we've got a few different options. And so when you come to plant next year, we can do crops and then further the process of them to get potentially a better profit. But yeah, so actually, one thing I do first of all is turn the interactive markers off because I do get a bit annoyed and I just had it on just like it's on the placement. But yeah, I'm thinking the cookie factory is an option for us. And if we can make some cookies, yeah, that's better. That's a production I haven't used before, and it's just something different. Something different, and something wrong with that. So let's go and sell the apple juice a sec. So let's go from here. So, yeah, I think that, yeah, the bank's putting some. Realize how to sell them there for the apples or apple juice. Not too quick there. But yeah, let's make a quick buck. 16 grand, not too bad there. Landscaping work though, by the guessing people to the bank and that whatever. Or a bit of extra concrete down. But yeah, so I'll get that return to the farm. And now let's focus on the harvesting. So you go there. So yeah, I think best course of action would be with the worker. So I did also want to do one thing. Can you go in a straight line? It can. So actually, stop checking. Yeah, it's producing straw. That's good. And then we can get our brand new combine here, which has only had an hour of usage out of it. Nothing in comparison to the grand scale thing. So, starting off with a difficult area where we just try to see this, and yeah, it's going over a few bits now, which is to be expected. It is a bit of a fun, uneven area. And really, I should have done more to flatten that area out over there. And crash counter to red, I think, in this episode. But yeah, we've got bread underway now, so we've set the flour to distribution, so go into our production. There's a few contracts, but yeah, we've got the flour going, and that's making bread. We didn't have a pallet of bread yet, but maybe before the end of the episode, we can get our first pallet of bread out. Obviously that's going to be like two weeks or skip ahead because yeah we don't get 
to pad it every two weeks, just under two weeks, so yeah, there's that. But yeah, and also be making more flour. And I will stop and start this production most likely at some point over the year. Because yeah, we're gonna hit the limit for too much flour, so that's gonna be another thing. Also, actually, I should have that Massey and the Great Wheel. So then we can cart with. Uh, what's it? Cart with the Trans 70. And then, yeah, get the loop right and just dump it straight into the production. And actually, I'll do that now in the Naval Right. But yeah, even with all the production that we're going to do next year on the farm, I'm still going to do crops now, because I'll do our, well, of course we'll do crops, that's all the purpose of it. We're an arable farm, of course we're doing crops at point. But yeah, what I mean is we'll do a variety, like five, six fields, do all different crops. Obviously got a bunch of field beans going at the moment, which is good, so it's going to get us a lot of money. But I think once we get ourselves out of debt, we still need to dedicate a field to field beans because we need that money crop. Any farmer would have a money crop in, basically a crop that needs yields the most per hectare. I think that's the best way to also determine value of something that is the value of grains per hectare. And yeah, that's the feed field beans. Say that actually, in terms of like timing that, he actually should have been the better crop to do. The only downside that is requires a daily harvester and almost chucking straw into the river. He's going to do that. Don't be environmental people coming out here and commanding us. Don't want to be locked up. But yeah, as you see, it's going to take too long. Yeah, I think once we get the head done, we can get the workers on the way properly. Is that worker blocked over there? It is. So yeah, actually, what I'll do is I'll get the worker off just in the other direction. That's decent enough. So yeah. It's all done, transferred over. It's gonna take a bit, but uh, yeah, it'll take too long, I think. Before dinner time, we'll easily have all the fields done, so yeah. I will get it done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done.
go. We are almost done with the harvesting. Now it's just the ass off the party to do, and we got the cloth over there doing that little strip over there, and we've got the new one doing this over here, so this shouldn't take too long. And yeah, let's have a little quick gander at what we have got from the rice so far. So if you have a look here, go up to the top, and we'll see we've got 41,000 years of rye. Double check if it's still online. Yeah, just over that it was, an, of course, initially. At the moment we've got 122,000 years of barley. And yeah, we're down to 30,000 years of oats. So, yeah, that's going to be a lot of flour being produced. And already we're at 9,000 years of flour. And that is enough for 4,000. Yeah, that's just on its own at the moment, two months worth of bread. So, I think at some point we will stop the flour production, maybe around September or October. So then we can have a stockpile of flour to sell over the course of the winter. I think that would be a good idea. And what we can do is store them. Got a few options, including some very large bags we can put them in of A2 Studio and what I am referring to is the global bags something we have a look here so under pallets I think go to the end yep yeah, the global goods pallets so yeah that can hold 200,000 litres of anything and I'm pretty sure that includes flour if I'm correct Actually, this will show us at the bottom. All your normal stuff, yep. Yeah, flour, it will do as well. So, that's good. To, yeah, that's good to hear. Also, sorry, non on that, getting the swaths and that picked up. And of course, as said, oh, what's it called? I'm going backwards. Just turn around. Ah, uh, fine. So, let's do the same thing. Wait, what was I saying? Yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, so a little stream of thought there. Hey, who will put these? Oh yeah, the straw I was on about. Yes, I did in the last episode. We was going to keep the straw. I am tempted because I think we can buy bells if we need to, decent sized ones, as and when it is needed. Because yeah, that's one is eleven thousand years. Because yeah, we've got enough TMR for now, and I've only just realised we've gone way over top of the TMR for our Angus cows. Basically, they don't need TMR, because they're beef cow, not dairy cows. They don't need, well, they can do TMR. Oh, what's that working doing? Two six. That tiny little shrimp we're doing. But yeah, in terms of like how much they grow in that and their value in general, hey, it's fine. You still get it's exactly the same value. So I think what we can do is start giving our cows some hay. I think we've still got a few hay bells in that. <coughs> of course, we do need some for the sheep in that. So. Again, with what I'm planning on doing, what crops we're going to do in this coming year, maybe do a cheeky grass filthy, say, plant it at the end of August. That's going to be October by the time it's ready to mow. And then we need to just cultivate it or whatever, or drill it for planting a crop next year, but most likely cultivate or subsoil perhaps. But yeah, that's a few options for us. Most likely, we may go down the Subsoil root, because then we can get stones, produce some more lime, and because some of these fields already got medium stones previously, we could perhaps get away with having large stones coming up next time. But again, that's something we've got to look into as and when that arrives, but 
I think yeah, with the cookie production, things like strawberry cheese, so yeah, maybe we need like, more sugar beet in the coming year. That means then, do we invest in, in the sugar beet harvester in terms of buying it out outright, or just leasing it? And that's going to be the question there, and as we complete this pass, we will turn off the combine header, here. Because, yeah, again, I said, sugar beet is a very valuable crop. And even if we don't get all the sugar, well, if we don't use all the sugar out of it, to rephrase that, we can just sell the sugar beet, or sugar beet cut. Sugar beet cut can go into the BGA, I think. Or is that a Pacific modded one? Again, is that, please say that combine certain amounts. Thank you. At least one one worker is doing something right. But yeah, so just a little bit of swivel left, and the rest of the horse in. And then I think we'll do some straw work as well. Because yeah, I think we've already got two bells produced. So yeah, if ever we can sell more straw, or in heck, just sell it, sell it all. Set it all. But yeah, also, I'm thinking about yeah, getting that tomato salad, tomato sauce production, and salad production on the way. Because so hopefully, with that, we can make a little bit more money from the greenhouses. Because yeah, like, what, over the course of a couple of months, we've got like 55 grams worth of stuff. Yes, yeah, so and obviously, including the strawberries, but still. I ain't eating too bad of a job. 55 grand, and if you can make a bit more money out of it. Obviously, you've still got the loan to pay off, so. Um, obviously, it's a multi year thing with the loan, it's not a one year, we've got to pay it all off. And I'm sure with like, the fill beans we're going to be harvesting, we'll get that money back June next year very easily. So, yeah. I think what we'll do is. One more time lapse, finish off the harvest, get baited, yeah, get the baiting done, and I'll see you folks afterwards.
we go. Uh, we are in the third week of July. We skipped ahead a little bit. And yet, we also done a few contracts as you will see in the time lapse towards the end. Because of screenshots. And yeah, that's why we're on 365 grand now. But now we've got a half a million litres of straw. And we're going to sell these at value bills because we can get £105 per thousand litre, so that should be about 60 grand almost for these bells. So I thought, heck yeah, why not sell them? And if you need bells for the straw and that down the road, then over we actually we've got some in this site over here, so I should, should turn left there, but we can go to the store via this way. But yeah, because we've got like 2.1 million litres of straw, so yeah, not an issue whatsoever there, and that straw may be sold over the course of the winter and that. Unless something comes up and we need money now, then we'll set it straight away. go, mine's going up, 420, yeah that's way over 60 grand, or just about 61 but yeah not too bad of an estimate, and yeah I'm also looking forward to go and see what we've been pro producing that, we've produced the flour because we've now set that to store, simply because we've got enough grain or enough, or enough flour in the bakery to last till the new year. So yeah, I was going to have to look here. Now see here, we've got these pallets here, and we can easily just move them. Move them that way, 5,000 litres each, so we're going to get a fair bit of money for this. Fortunately, if we head over to the actual bakery itself, we're going to be as lucky because it is a slow production for the bread. So we have to go over to the bakery. Not even a single pat yet, we've even got 1200 litres and these are 5000 litre pallets. Of course if we need to get some out straight away, then I'll take the perfect action of deselecting the, was it, large pallet capacity and get a pad out. But yeah, we'll have a pad of bread for winter and that so not to worry there. But yeah that's all the hard apologies there, that was a little game crash we just had. <laughs> Literally after it automatically saved so one good all the save was on and two that was the first time this happened like done what easy three hours off Playing, like doing background work now, and it hasn't crashed since I've had that all save enabled. But now, yeah, so it has been a weird one. But anyways, back onto the task I found what I was going to say is we now need to start doing the field work, field prep for next year. So there we go. That's all that sorted. Obviously some of these fields are going to be wheat again, I'm thinking 57 again, have a big wheat field, or wheat, actually no, barley may be a good one, so I'm thinking likes of 52, 53 and 56 could be barley, that leaves us with these five fields, and I'm thinking, obviously you can't do barley in that plan until September, but that would stop us, so yeah, really apart from canoe and there's so nothing else we can do this year <coughs> apart from cotton in February and then any other crops in the next year, so maybe it could be worth just doing some grass work now. Ooh, didn't know there was a bell there. Good to know. I'll come handy, we'll leave that there, we'll keep it. So yeah, if we can do barley fields, then do grass, and then come the next year, do something else. I haven't quite 
figured out what we're going to do. We look at the cookies factory. There we go. Also clothing, cookies. Horse raisins. Yeah, butter, cheese, strawberries, chocolate. And what's that? Oh yeah, oats for oatmeal cookies. So yeah, there's a few options there at least. But maybe go a bit more on the sugar bean and get more sugar made. So if that's going to be the case, a little cough there. But yeah, so yeah, we're doing notes. But yeah, depending on what we get from the sugar beet field in October, that's why we're going to be harvesting the sugar beet. That will dictate on what we're going to do. So I'm thinking like sugar beet, we can do corn. Get some popcorn and that from it. If we can find the space, get some cotton in and then we can get some clothes from it. Also, what about a little vineyard in that? There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just the equipment involved. That means a lot of work, but then again, saying that, we can do slidage and sell the winter. Also, we've still got 400,000 litres of silage, and if we sell that over the winter, that's at least 200 grand we're going to make. Obviously, there's like the seed and rye and that. But what about alfalfa? Let's do... Actually, yeah, let's do alfalfa. Not sure what the growing cycle is. Who oh, one knows. And actually, also, I forgot I've got to convert this into a mulch or so. Let's quickly do that a sec. All sorted, so yeah, we need to get the mulching underway. And yeah, that's gonna be quite a bit of an endeavour. But yeah, I'm definitely thinking next time we start expanding the productions and that, get the cookie factory in, get the farm production facility in, that lets us create the tomato salad, or tomato sauce hence salad, not the same thing. And then, yeah, pretty much go from there. Actually, before we quickly leave it here for now, house the manure. Not too bad, we we'll need mucking out before it hits 10,000 litres. Mind your head. But yeah, having this mulcher, a sort of mulcher roller. Configuration is absolutely handy. So you already got weeds growing in the fields and that so and that's the thing also I know remembered on why we're not getting a hundred percent yield bonus. It's because we're putting the herbicide down only when basically it's start to germinate. If you do it that pre application I was on about, then we wouldn't have an issue with the herbicide. Or with. Not the herbicide, with. Uh, what's it? Weeds. So, yeah, didn't we. Didn't we do something with spraying that, like preventive spraying on one of these fields? this field over here was like one of these fields uh, I'm not sure I can't remember but yeah I thought we tried it and weeds weren't growing actually the map may help us with that so go to weeds have a gander yeah it was this section over here to the left I know wait a minute that's where we're done so yeah, actually, you know what? I don't know, but yeah, we've got weeds everywhere on all those fields. Not all of them, fortunately. But yeah, I think if we do prevent spraying, but yeah, we need to mulch, fertilize subsoil, get the rocks picked before we can do any big crop work and that. So that's going to be a bit of an endeavor in itself, but at the end of the day, it's all going to be worth it. Yeah, so anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, 
smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me Farmer Evelyn Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.